Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, May 5th, we'll talk about the crowns Lord gives to the believers. Uh, I hope you remember the Be My Judgment that I spoke to you about uh, a few days back. Uh, that is when the church uh, will be meeting Christ Jesus in, in mid skies. That's a rapture. After that, we'll be getting crowns according to what we did on this earth. The gifts that God is going to give us. We'll talk about this. First Peter 5, 4 says, When the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. When a Christian suffers for the glory of God, God gives him or her with a crown. Here Peter is talking of the crown of glory which doesn't fade and this is given to the one who shepherds his sheep in a manner which would glorify God. Stephen was glorified because of his suffering for Christ. He was the first martyr who was stoned to death and he saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. We see this incident in Acts 7 and this particular verse in 50, 50, 55 verse as if awaiting his arrival in heaven. Wow! Does he need any other crown? Jesus himself is standing up to receive him. Scriptures tell us about the different types of crowns that God gives to the believers. We'll see some of them. First one is, it's mentioned in 1 Corinthians 9.25. Paul is comparing the believer to an athlete uh, who is running for a prize. He's saying that they do it to obtain a perishable crown but we as believers, we obtain an unperishable, imperishable crown. Paul was victorious in his race. Second is 1 Thessalonians 2.19. Here Paul says that God gives the soul winner a crown of rejoicing. Paul achieved his goal of winning souls for Christ from among the Gentiles. Third is crown of righteousness. This we see in 2 Timothy 4, 8. This, uh, this will come to all who have loved his appearing. People who await his arrival. Paul was confident that he would get his crown of righteousness. He was so confident. He, is, he said that he finished his race and is ready to uh, receive the crown. In fourth, uh, fourth thing is... Uh, James 1, 12 and Revelation 2, 10 says that people who overcome temptations will be given crown of life. This refers to the fullness of eternal life which will be received in the age to come by those who do not allow trials to cause them to fall back in their faith for Jesus. Fifth is 1 Peter 5, 4. This is the crown of glory given to the pastor of a church. We saw, we read about this in the first verse that we read. This, this is for a pastor of a church, to the shepherd when the chief shepherd appears. Let's all pray that we'll get our crowns. We should await the crowns. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for reminding us about these crowns that we would be getting when we receive, when we reach you. Please help us to fulfill your will and be ready to receive the crowns which await us. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.